This is the National Weather Service in Binghamton, New York, and here is the latest briefing on the lake effect snowstorm that is impacting much of central New York. This briefing was prepared 11 a.m. Monday morning. I'm meteorologist Bob Munchank, and this was prepared with meteorologist Mike Evans. Changes since our last briefing, the advisories for Steuben and Chemung counties have been canceled. Snowfall there has been uh, only a few inches, and they're not expected to get much more during the event. The remaining lake effect advisories and warnings, except for Otsego and Delaware counties, have been extended until 4 a.m. Tuesday morning. The wind advisories, there are no changes, and you can see the uh, map with the brown. Those are all the counties that are under a wind advisory until early this evening. Impacts, uh, hazardous travel will, will continue in the lake effect snow warning and advisory areas. Uh, the worst conditions are going to be on Interstate 81 from pretty much the New York PA border up through the Syracuse region and the throughway corridor from Oneida west through Syracuse. And anytime you, get, you are in one of these lake effect bands, be prepared for near whiteout conditions with blowing and drifting snow. There could be still some isolated power outages with the strong winds that could possibly take down a few limbs or maybe a few uh, electrical lines. Okay, so the timing and evolution. The lake effect snow will remain intense through the early afternoon with snowfall rates of one to two inches per hour. The band right now is pretty much stretching from the Auburn area, southeast across southern Onondaga County near Tully, and then over northern Cortland County near Preble to central and northern Shenango County in the Norwich area. Now this band is ex expected to remain pretty much in that same area, maybe drift a little further north through early afternoon, and then later this afternoon and this evening is, is expected to drop back south across the Binghamton area, but it is going to weaken as it does. So the snow will diminish in both coverage and intensity this evening, but light snow accumulations will continue through the overnight period. This graphic here shows the additional snowfall expected for today and tonight. This is from 7 a.m. this morning until 7 a.m. Tuesday morning. And as you can see, the areas that I just talked about where the heavier snow band is could see an additional 8 to 12 inches of snow. And points further south, including the local Binghamton area, are going to see much lighter snow accumulations. All right, that's our latest briefing. Uh, you can stay weather alert by going to our mobile website, or if you're on a laptop or a desktop computer, our internet site. Or you can find us on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.